Before we get into the video, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. Now this right here is Ian Bennett. He is a vile and truly disgusting human being. I mean honestly, if you had to liken him to something, it would be dirt or rat piss. Now this possessive and evil person stabbed his girlfriend 54 times until she was dead and once he had killed her, he then turned to Mommy Dearest to help him get rid of the evidence. Ian Bennett and the victim, Kerry Woolley, who were both 38 years old, had only been dating for roughly six weeks when he murdered her in cold blood on July 12, 2020. Now a six-week romance is not a relationship. You're only just starting the new phase of trying to get to know each other, trying to establish if this is a fling or something worth building. Now Kerry Woolley did not get a chance to decide for herself unfortunately because her life was so cruelly snatched away. Now Ian Bennett ruthlessly and sadistically attacked the mum of two after he accused her of cheating on him with a woman whom they had both previously met at a wine bar. Again Ian is the definition of a psychopath. Now before the murder Birmingham Crown Court heard that Ian browsed Google and asked what's the best way to get revenge on a woman. However, I'm sure Google did not recommend stabbing the poor woman 54 times. Now on that fateful night of July 12, 2020, Ian Bennett travelled to his partner's flat in Wesley Heights of the Solihull area in Birmingham in order to have it out with her. Now after confronting Kelly about sleeping with a woman and most likely not getting the answer he wanted, Ian then pulled out a knife and he began to poke, prod and stab at his girlfriend of just 6 weeks. Now after he stabbed her 54 times, that means he must have been ferocious in his so called revenge. Kelly Woodley did not stand a chance and now Ian has left 2 children without a mother. Ian then asked his own mom to come and help him get rid of the evidence and also gave him a lift and stupidly it was his own mum that ended up ousting him, as her dash cam actually recorded Ian dumping the murder weapon that was wrapped in a plastic bag and he threw it in the canal. Now, in order to confuse the police, Ian phoned the police to later on to say he had found his loving girlfriend dead. Now, during the phone call, he cried and performed all the usual theatrics that a person would normally do when they are distraught, including the hiccups and the shortness of breaths and the wailing. But the jury saw through all that BS and saw him for the bully and the coward that he truly was. Now Ian Bennett, again 38 years old, was found guilty of murdering 38 year old Miss Woolley by a jury at Birmingham Crown Court. He was actually convicted but found guilty yesterday which was Tuesday December the 7th. His 63 year old disgusting mother also was found guilty of assisting an offender and doing an act intended to pervert the cause of justice, i.e. helping him stash the murder weapon. They are both due to be sentenced today at some point, which is December 8th. All I can say is good riddance. Stay safe, safe.